In today's Sunday Solution, we're going to show you how to fix your broken squirrel cage in your Coleman Mach 8 air conditioner. So if you have the Coleman Mach 8 air conditioners and you're laying around your RV, maybe sleeping or hanging out, and you hear this noise. You better do this. So do this repair. You're going to have to go to your breaker box and shut off power to both your air conditioners. And here's the front AC rear AC. So this is our third one in three months? Five. It's been a little bit longer than three months. Maybe but four yeah, months. Maybe four. So. <laughs> that really we'll get matter? the tools together and we'll show you what you need to do. So here's the tools you're going to need to replace your broken squirrel cage. A 3 8 socket. Okay. A Phillips head, a T25 Torx head bit, and I use a little extension on mine that's magnetic. And you're going to need some type of an extension. This is a 3/8 socket that I'm going to carry just in case. It has a magnetic in the end of it, but you don't really need this as long as you have one of the 3/8. And this is an extension. I may use that. You're also going to need cordless drill and you're going to need the famous blower wheel so this is the third one we've done in about three months I just ordered today I was able to find some aluminum squirrel cages you can see these are plastic and when we take the old one apart, we'll see what disintegrated, but usually one of these fins breaks or something like that. So I have aluminum ones hopefully coming because these just aren't working. These are now, they used to be $49. Now they're 65 up plus tax and they're made in China and they just keep breaking. And everybody says, oh, don't run your airs on high or do this or do that, it doesn't matter what you do. They keep exploding because they're junk. We've experimented. Well, We've tried everything. They're junk. So hopefully, from what I've read in some forums, the aluminum ones are working out good. The hard part is getting them. Can't get anything like, you know, the typical problems we're having right now is trying to get parts. So I will put a link in from where I got them from. They said they're in stock. We'll see. Remains to be seen. Typically, we get them at, try to get them at Granger, but Granger's been out of them for at least two months that I've been looking. Because when the last one blew up in Tennessee, which was my middle air conditioner, that one only lasted maybe a month and it broke. So. All right, here we go. Yeah, we'll show you when we get up on the roof. Uh, looks like I'm mine. Sometimes these bolts are T25s, sometimes they're Phillips. This is the T25. So let's get that off and we'll see where we're at. We don't have much choice, I gotta do it. We're not allowed to work on stuff in the state park, but without this, I don't have any air conditioning and it's been cold in the morning and then warm in the afternoon so we run the heat in the morning and the air in the afternoon typically get the tools out Oh, 
hopefully we can get this done without getting in trouble. All right. All right, so there's four screws. Those are the three eighths. Here, 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 and here. That's why you need a deep socket to uh, get those off. That'll get you to the squirrel cage. A little pro tip, put everything in your pocket. That way you don't drop it. You got to remove the gray cover. All right, so your squirrel cage is located underneath this. So you just pick this piece off. There. And this one's filthy. If you see down in here, this is what's broken. These are pieces of that cage. So you gotta make sure, I'm gonna do this after I get the wheel off. My initial uh, look at it, I couldn't see where the fins were missing. I don't see any missing, babe. Yeah, no, I do. I'm wondering if these are pieces left over from the other one that somehow got sucked into it. Dirty is all hell, but. Wait, this one's cracked right here. This one definitely cracked. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There's a crack in it right here. So I think after looking at it further, this is why it's so important to clean out those ducts. I think these pieces were left over from a previous blower wheel explosion. And while we were driving here, they somehow moved through the ductwork and got sucked back into this fan, this wheel. So this one is cracked right here and typically they all crack right there when they do go but i don't know if it was caused from the pieces getting sucked in or if it just finally decided to go so either way it had to be changed and now you can see how to change it all right so mine's really filthy but to get it off there's a t25 torx head inside there and uh, you can see it there. So I'm gonna take that out. Come on, baby. There she goes. Make sure you don't lose that washer. That goes on the T25 side. There's also another washer on this side. On this shaft, there's a little cutout for the for the uh, squirrel cage. That's right there. The other side doesn't have that. That's how you know you're putting it on the right way. All right, so when you put it on, 
you want that square end to the outside. Basically, you slide that end on first. Make sure it's tight up against the washer and then you can put your screw in. Another pro tip when you, after you tighten it, make sure your T25 is not stuck in the bolt because I've had that happen once. I had to take the whole thing back apart again. All right, so clean these up. Put them back on. Man, they're dirty. Could be some of my problem. Okay. Slide them back on. She fits in there like that. And we're gonna put our gray cover on. Which do gently. And then we're gonna put our three eighths nuts back on. And you want to look down in the bottom for broken parts, which I didn't show you, but I did check. All right, at this point, I'm going to test it. Let's try, honey. Well, there you have it. The squirrel cage, and we're good to go. We get the aluminum ones in, we won't have to come up here no more. I am not a big fan of being on the roof. The only good thing is, that's my view. This one went off at about, it was about seven o'clock in the morning. We were still in bed. And when they go off, they'll scare the bejesus out of you because they're really loud. But luckily, we know what they are now. So we both jump out of bed and run over, and shut the AC down. And since we're on 30 amp here, I only have the capability to run this back AC. So I kind of had to fix it. All right, so this is how you repair a Coleman Mach 8 air conditioner. If you have any questions, you like this video, please leave a comment below and we'll uh, see if we can answer them. And there's a view of Fernandina Beach.